Downtown Berkeley getting a vibrant makeover this weekend. It's art. It's weekend street art fair. Look at that. That's so cool, right? The sidewalks will be covered with colorful drawings as artists of all skill levels compete for a prize. Gabrielle Makowski, a member of the Berkeley Street Art Fest Committee, joining us now with what people can expect today. Thank you for getting up early. This is one of those amazing, unique things because, you know, there's so many art fairs you can go to, but this one is unlike any art fair. Uh, I agree completely with you um, <laughs> because um, it's not just the chalk that we have to offer. Mm -hmm. We have quite a variety of local Michigan vendors as well. Um, so this event originally started in 2016. It was just in a small municipal alley adjacent to Coolidge, okay. but it was a few pop-up tents, a few chalk artists putting together some awesome work. And since then, uh, with the exception of COVID due to a break, We've expanded. Um, it has grown into what you see just a sampling here today of products that you can find when mm -hmm. you come to visit us. Yep. Well, we're showing some video here mm -hmm. now. Now that's a mural on the wall, right? Yes. All right, and and so that's just like just a smattering of it. I, I don't want to dump from the video too quickly, but you have a chalk artist that's going to be there today that we have live here now mm -hmm. and uh, is working on a piece for us in the in what is it Studio B? Where is this? He's hiding. I think he's in the loading dock. Oh, the atrium. Oh, yeah, the okay, atrium. oh, that's okay. cool. Because yeah, of the weather. <laughs> and, and so tell us about this artist and what he's up to. Um, so this is an interactive mural. Um, again, another sampling of what you can find uh, when you come visit us today. Mm -hmm. um, so David's in here. He is a renowned chalk artist. He um, visited with us last year as well. So um, it's just a, it's a great opportunity to come see him in person, see him actually mm -hmm. doing the work like in real time, which so is cool. What's fun about this is that a lot of times when you go to, again, at your traditional art fair, mm -hmm. things are already there for you to purchase, but you get to come to this and it's mm -hmm. more of a living art fair because you see folks like David actually making the art right in front of you. Correct, um, it's a combination of both, right? Because these vendors that we have visiting with us, our Shop for Good Village, our Culinary Courts, I'm sorry, Culinary Arts Corridor, um, sponsored by Woodward Corner Market, mm -hmm. These are products that have already been made, but then also you have the opportunity to participate in this interactive mural opportunity. We be jamming. We be jamming. Strawberry yes. fields and honey. That's yeah. just one of your vendors. And uh, we're not wasting anything. We got old bicycle chain turned into what? Hooks? Correct. Um, yeah, um, just a, a hook a for a wall hang, art uh -huh. decor, or for keys or accessories. I do want to get back on live if we can to see David Zinn mm -hmm. again working in the atrium because there's one spot on that chart card he was working on that I believe has a customized local four balloon. Yeah. Oh. Can we can we tilt the camera up a little bit? Maybe there, there comes. We go. There it oh, is. Oh, the local four balloon. <laughs> up, up and away. <laughs> Give us the why for whys and wherefores. Exactly where, when, how long, sure. so forth. Um, so happening today along Coolidge Highway, north of Catalpa. This event goes from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. And only today, so make sure Correct. you get out there. Only today. So the interactive chalk. Um, you can participate in throughout the day, but the chalk artists themselves, they've already begun working uh -huh. and okay. voting goes until 3 p.m. today. That's right, we it's have, competition. Yeah. It's a competition feature, um, prize money for those who oh. are chosen. Um, but yeah, okay. lots going on. Food trucks, we've invited food trucks. We have a kid zone with a foam factory, bounce houses mm -hmm. as well. See, Bethany uh, has a bounce house a lot. Well, Everybody, food trucks. Well, where yeah. were they when we were kids? <laughs> <laughs> Gabrielle Mikowski, thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Enjoy, have a great day. Thank, thank you. you.